Sup, y'all, bringing you guys another video. So, just bringing you guys my post fight thoughts of the fight between Oscar Valdez and Robson Conceição. Now, uh, yeah, where do I start with this fight? Now, leading up to this fight, um, there was a lot of controversy, of course. I think everybody knows by now about Valdez testing positive for banned substance, and now he was still allowed to fight and, you know, for this event to allow it to be continued, and Valdez didn't really pay any punishments for testing positive he still gets to keep his belt he still gets paid tonight or last night i should say and um you know the, like i said there was a lot of controversy leading up to this fight and after the fight again a lot of controversy in my opinion fight went the distance he went the whole 12 rounds and oscar valdez won the fight he won the fight by unanimous decision two all three judges had it in his favor 115 112 115 112 117, 110, and Oscar Valdez improves to 30 and 0, 23 wins coming by way of Nakar TKO. Now, did he really win this fight? That is the question, because in my opinion, I thought Robson Conceição should have won this fight. Robson Conceição suffers his first loss in his pro career. And uh, yeah, I thought he won this fight. I thought he should have been the winner, the new champion. But no surprise that. Oscar Valdez did win because it was his hometown or his adopted hometown over in Arizona. And, um, you know, the, the crowd was cheering for him. Everybody was rooting for him. Um, so no surprise that he ended up winning this fight because it was a close fight. It was arguably a close fight. I scored it seven rounds to five in favor of Robson Conceição with the point deduction. Um, Robson, I still had Robson winning 114, 113, I think, if I did my math correctly. But there were a lot of close rounds. There were a lot of close rounds. Um, but still, with that being said, no way did Robson just win three rounds. That one judge who scored it 117, 110. Whoever that, who's the judge actually? Who is that judge? Stephen, Stephen Blay. That judge shouldn't judge again. This guy. That's not how to score a fight. That's not know how to score a fight. Dude did a horrible job scoring this fight. And um and yeah, but still man, that one I still think Conceito should have won, but you know, everybody was siding with Valdez. The commission was siding with Valdez, the sanctioning body was siding with Valdez, the promoters were siding with Valdez. The fans were siding with Valdez. So obviously, it was all going to be Valdez in the end. All he had to do was make this fight close, which he did. And uh, yeah, he struggled, man. Valdez really struggled to get in the inside, to work in the inside. That lead left hook was struggling to land. Yes, he landed some here and there. He did have moments here and there. Like I said, there were close rounds. But I guess um, one can make the argument that, you know, the challenger should be the one trying to get the belt, trying to bring the fight to the champion instead of running around this and that. But I thought Conceso did a very good job boxing. If this fight was anywhere else other than Tucson, Arizona, I think Conceso probably would have won. I think so. Valdez just really struggled to land something clean, man. I feel like he needs to use the jab more. I feel like he he jumps in with that lead left hook way too often and it's you can see it coming. And any world level fighter can see it coming. Uh, but yeah, he needs to use the job more often. And mix it up more, going downstairs to the body. You know, I know Valdez is a very experienced fighter, former Olympian, very good amateur background. But, you know, it's never too late to learn. And I think after the fight, Canelo was, you know, talking to him about his performance. But this was a close fight that, in my opinion, Conceso should have won. But, you know, sport of boxing, that's the sport of boxing for you. Um, yes, <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to sound too frustrated about it because what did I expect, right? What did I expect? Anyway, Oscar Valdez, after this fight, said that he wants the winner of, uh, um, Shakur Stevenson versus Jamal Herring. He might end up fighting the winner of that fight. And holy cow, if he fights Shakur Stevenson, either actually either one, if either one, I think that would be a very good fight. Very good fight. 
and I hopefully they put it somewhere else other than Tucson, Arizona. Um, but it's not the end of the world for for uh, Robson Conceição. That's not Robson Conceição. This is Robson Conceição. It's not the end of the world for Robson Conceição. Um, I didn't like. How, here's the thing I didn't like about Robson Conceição. Oh, another thing was was the the point deduction. There was a point deduction. I can't remember around around nine. So it's really around nine. Um, round nine where the referee was telling him to break Conceza was tapping on his head on uh, Valdez's head you know it's arguably a rabbit punch but it was more of a tap in my opinion and for him not and for him to get a point deduction right away and then Valdez did hit intentionally behind the head of uh, Conceza and the referee didn't give a point deduction for that just goes to show that the referee Tony Zaino was also in favor of Conceis of uh, Rob of uh, Valdez, so everybody was going for Valdez into this fight, going into this fight. The ref, the judges, the fans, the commission, the sanctioning body, the promoters, everybody was going for Valdez. So Conceso had no choice but to knock out Valdez from the get go in order to win this fight. That's what he needed to do in order to win this. And I didn't like how Conceso was. There were moments where Conceza was just like, you know, fooling around, and I'm like, bro, keep your head in the game, man. This is not, this is not time to be fooling around. I wasn't a fan of that, cause he could have made this fight. In my, in my opinion, I think Conceza could have made this fight even more one-sided if he wasn't goofing around like that. But that's just what I think. Anyway. Sucks, but it is what it is. Again, uh, I think Valdez wants to fight. If you look at the uh, rankings at where is that one thirty? Um, yeah, Valdez is the WBC champion. He wants to fight the winner of Herring versus Stevenson. So we'll we'll see that probably in the future. Anyway, if you saw the fight, let me know what did you think about it in the comments. Thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. Like always. Have a great day. All right, thanks.